Welcome back. I am the Angry Cook, and uh, today is part two of our Mexican beef extravaganza, beef biera, biera, bur, bur, bur. I really need to look that up, don't I? Um, <clears throat> today we're going to be doing tacos with consomme sauce. So uh, this takes about, we got to make the consomme up, Makes it takes about 20-25 minutes, and then uh, saute the shells. And another three or four minutes, uh, make two at a time, which is kind of, <clears throat> I think if you, if you would have a, a griddle that you can do this on, uh, you could do a bunch of them at a time. Um, but it takes takes a little bit of time, but I think it's going to be worth it. If the taste of the uh, taco is anywhere like the taste of the, of the beef stew, it... Uh, might just break down in tears. Probably not, but I might. Anyhow, um, sit back. Sit back and relax, and uh, we'll do tacos tonight for dinner. See ya. All right. Uh, ingredients for our taco. Um, I'm kind of excited. This is. I hope this is as good as... As the beef stew is. I can't imagine it can't be. Um, <clears throat> two cups of the reserved uh, liquid from the beef stock from the beef stew. Uh, I didn't have quite enough. I only had a little more than about a cup and a quarter. Um, my advice is if you're going to make the beef beer beer first, uh, before you reduce it, pull out a couple of cups of the reserved broth and just put it in the fridge um, for this. Um, Two cups of that. We have a quarter cup of carrot. We have a quarter cup of, uh, of uh, celery. It's a quarter cup diced carrot and celery. We have half a cup of cabbage. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to make a small container of sauerkraut. Well, what's left of this? Because why not? Who can have enough sauerkraut? I know I can't. Um, a cup of chicken broth. And uh, that's it. So let's get get busy dicing. And I don't mean vacuum. There you go, bro. For Jay, I well, got that one first, huh? really hard when a recipe calls for cups of vegetables. Uh, I, I find it really hard to, to put that into a um, in the context of myself. <clears throat> I don't know what it is. You don't belong there. Get out of there. And a half a cup of this guy. Solid head of cabbage. <clears throat> so much easier than the big ones. Saying the dogs like sauerkraut, I couldn't believe it myself. It's more like a freaking cup. Let's take about half of that. A little bit more. Oh, what the hell. The rest of this 
we're going to chop up and put in a quart uh, mason jar for sauerkraut. We'll do that off camera at a later date. We're going to put in our stock or our uh, broth from the beef puree. Once again, you can use beef broth if that's what you have. Uh, not going to hurt you. Try to avoid cubes and all that kind of crap that have a ton of salt in them, please. Now we're going to put this on the stove, simmer for 30 minutes, for 20 minutes, sorry, not 30 minutes. We're going to simmer this guy for 30, we're going to simmer this guy for 20 minutes, 2-0, despite what I say. We'll start it on high and then turn it down when we get a boil. Turn it down to simmer, and uh, we'll be back. All right, um, our consomme is finished. That's going to go in a couple of these guys, and uh, <clears throat> be in a, a kind of like a dipping sauce and a drinking sauce too uh, for our tacos. We pulled off and reserved yesterday, um, or Sunday, Monday, whatever it was, <coughs> the fat off of the beef birria. birria. Uh, we're using the fat now to saute our tacos, to kind of crisp them up, and, uh, or not to crisp them up, but to brown them. Um, so... There we are. I'm using corn tacos, not uh, corn tortillas, not uh, not flour. So uh, we've got another few minutes to go before we're going to start this. So I just thought I'd show you where we are at this time, and uh, we'll be back shortly. All right, we're going to get kicking here. So we're going to turn our uh, Turn our front burner on to like a uh, medium high, a little over medium, medium high, give or take a click or two. Have our fat in here. <clears throat> Extra fat. We're going to put our shells in here. We're going to get them all lathered up with, uh, with the... Uh, um, that we're going to add a little bit of leftover beef. We're going to add some cheese. This is Monterey, should be Monterey Jack, but it's a blend of cheddar and Monterey. Um, some cilantro and onions. <clears throat> a tablespoon of consomme. We're going to flip it. Flip them over, flip them in half, as like a taco shape, and then uh, we're going to be flipping them back and forth till they brown up nicely, um, and then we'll be serving. Uh, I'm making two at a time, because that's what you can make, because that's the size burner I made. As I said earlier, I think, I said earlier, <clears throat> if you had uh, an electric griddle, you could make probably a bunch of them, you could probably make... Uh, Two, four, maybe six, six or eight, maybe, maybe six, I think is about all you could fit um, on a griddle and do them that way. Do them on a the table in the middle uh, and just start serving them out as you're done. And then uh, as you serve them, add more uh, fat and more uh, taco shells or tortilla shells on and you just keep making them until people have their fill. Typically when I eat tacos, I eat three, four, five at a time. That's just, I'm just a little guy. I try to hold up my end. But, um, who knows? I'm expecting this to be more than outstanding, personally. I'm expecting this to be awesomeness exemplified. <clears throat> and I'm going to recommend that you don't even this pan's a little bit too small. 
that you don't use tongs to turn um, to turn your taco, your shells, uh, as I think they're going to rip pretty easily. up edges. The better one when we flip them in half, I guess. Huh? But we do what we can do for now. I'm warming them up a little bit. I'm not going to use the turn. I'm just going to use it to move it a little bit. Um, and I want to throw some the bare spots right there. Remember, Fat is flavor, always. Uh, that's why we use fat in our gravies uh, to make the roux before we make our gravy. That's where all the flavor is. Uh, the um, boy, oh boy, I'm having a tough time. The uh, stock you add to it has some flavor to it, but it wouldn't be the same without the uh, broth, without the uh, fat. Now remember, we're going to have to eat these and flip them, so uh, don't go stupid with the meat. Bubbling up here, see? There. Some onion. Some cilantro. If you know, a lot of people don't like, not a lot of people, some people don't like cilantro. They say it tastes like soap to them. If you don't like cilantro, don't use it. Um, I happen to love this stuff, as does Anne, so uh, we use it liberally. The warm stock, or the warm uh, consomme. Great. See I said about being too full? I think that one's a little bit too full. That's what I'm complaining, mind you. Oh, crap. That's why you gotta press them down. I have the heat set down to medium now. Uh, I did that earlier when the fat started to, to bubble up. Um, we got a little tender hands like I do. I don't have chefy hands that can put up with the heat. There we go. Okay. I forgot the cheese! What? Alright. Burn ass hot oil, hot fat on here, so try to avoid touching it uh, like I almost did there. Uh, because I think you're going to know it if you do it. And you'll be cursing. Not that I would do that, mind you. Come back over. Press. Now. Okay. Oh, crap. There we go. It's not bad. Crispy, crispy. All right. Can you see that? Looking good. It's tacos. How can you mess it up? Only one taco that I've eaten that I didn't like, and that was a taco bell. I hate taco bell. 
Like it's the worst crap in the world. And voila! Beef birria tacos with consomme sauce. Thanks for stopping by.